Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Duplitsky. I'm a medical doctor. I've been in practice in New York City for over 20 years. Uh, the kind of medicine that I practice is called natural or holistic or alternative. What that means is that we use mostly not drugs, but vitamins, minerals, and other natural things. This series that I created is called Myths That Can Hurt You. This is about things that many people believe, that you've been brainwashed to believe, that are not true. Uh, somebody wants you to do things or buy things, and somebody is making a lot of money, but it's not making you healthier. And today's myth that we'll discuss is, has to do with sunlight and skin cancer. Now, if I ask you um, the relationship between this sunlight and skin cancer, you'll say, of course, there is one. Of course, sun causes skin cancer. Well, I'll tell you, this is not true. Uh, because uh, studies show that, this, that there is absolutely no relationship between the kind of skin cancer that is important, the malignant melanoma, and sun exposure. In fact, the truth is that you don't need to use the uh, hundreds of millions of dollars worth of suntan lotions that we're using today, the sunscreens that we use today, uh, because we cannot prevent melanoma by using, by avoiding sun. In fact, the truth is that Sun exposure is related to reduced risk of uh, cancers. According to the um, article in the journal called Cancer 2002, we have in excess of 20 to 150,000 deaths every year because of reduced exposure to the sun. Men who do not get enough sun have double the risk of prostate cancer. Women who don't get enough sun exposure have five times the risk of breast cancer. And there are a total of 13 different cancers that go up without sufficient sun exposure. Cancer of the uterus, of the bladder, of the pancreas, of the esophagus and stomach, and many others. Now you may be wondering how that can be. Very simple. It turns out that whenever you're exposed to the sun, your body manufactures something called vitamin D. Vitamin D is something that we all know uh, that is related to the metabolism of calcium and is important for bone health. But it turns out that in the last 10 years, and certainly in the last 5, there were literally hundreds of studies that show that vitamin D is absolutely essential for normal function of the immune system. Without vitamin D, the immune system simply does not work as well as it can. Now, what's the function of the immune system? To fight things that don't belong in the body viruses, bacteria, they don't belong, so the immune system fights them and gets rid of them. Same with cancer. Cancer cells are foreign cells, so we do not need to have them in the body. They do not belong. The immune system fights them and finds them, seeks them out, finds them and kills them. Now, without vitamin D, you will not have a fighting uh, immune system. You will not have the kind of immune system that fights cancer very well. And that is why low vitamin D no sun, low vitamin D, it increases your risk of cancer. Now you may be wondering, what about all these stories you hear about skin cancer and sun? There is some truth to that, but not all skin cancers are the same. There are three different kinds of cancer that you should be aware of. The most common ones are basal cell carcinoma and squamous cell carcinoma. There are about a million cases every year. These are relatively low malignant cancers. In other words, they're not all that important. They're easily identifiable. They don't grow very fast. They don't spread very fast. Usually doctors find them, they cut them out, that's it, they're gone. In fact, they're not even considered very serious cancers. Now, there is a kind of cancer called malignant melanoma, which is very serious. This is the cancer that kills. All or most of the deaths from skin cancer are because of the malignant melanoma. So, this is the kind of cancer that grows quickly, spreads quickly, and can kill you. They estimate that in 2008, 2009, there will be 60,000 cases of malignant melanoma and 8,500 deaths. But here's the problem. Malignant melanoma has nothing to do with sun exposure. The first two that I mentioned, the basal cell and the, and the squamous cell, do. They usually happen at the sites where, the sun, uh, where, where people get sunburn, for instance, the face, the nose, ears, back of the neck. And it's been linked, both of these squamous cell and basal cell have been linked to sunburns. And that kind of makes sense. If you burn your skin, whether it's the sun or the fire, when the skin is damaged, it's more likely to develop cancer. So what's the solution? Don't get sunburned. But when it comes to malignant melanoma, the deadly cancer, 
It has nothing to do with sun exposure. First of all, it happens at the sites where the sun usually does not shine. For instance, the soles of the feet or the buttocks. So clearly nothing to do with sun exposure. Plus, if you look at the statistics, as I mentioned, this year we expect to have 60,000 cases of malignant melanoma. Just 10 years ago it was 40,000. In 1950s there were hardly any cases of malignant melanoma. So what's happening is that the number of cases is going up while the use of suntans is also going up. So what's going on? Something that doesn't add up here. So maybe it is the oldest sunscreening that we are doing that actually increases the risk of malignant melanoma, not decreases it. And why do you hear otherwise? Because somebody is making a lot of money selling you sunscreens. So the bottom line is this, don't get sunburned, it's okay to get sun exposure, but uh, be sure to protect yourself uh, if you are going to stay in the sun for a long time. Ideally, you should get 10-15 minutes of sun exposure without getting a sunburn, and this way you'll get all the benefits of getting plenty of vitamin D, preventing your risk of cancer, and at the same time, reducing the risk of the squamous and basal cell carcinoma. And when it comes to malignant melanoma, well, the more vitamin D you have, the less is your risk of that too. And in general, uh, if you keep your immune system strong and healthy, your risk of cancer will be down. This is the myth about sun and skin cancer. There are many other myths that you can uh, download from my website, which is www.commonsensehealthguide.com. Thank you very much. This is Dr. Toplitsky wishing you the best of health.